Alright guys, I have braved the snow and ice to come down to Oxford, Mississippi to visit High Cotton Wine and Spirits. Alright again guys, I'm here at High Cotton in Oxford, High Cotton Wine and Spirits. Got a lot of rides here. Oh, is this the one people have been looking for? Not sure. Uh, All right. There's that Redwood Empire, the Emerald Giant. Not some of you all's favorite, that Jefferson's Ocean. A lot of you love it. Mm, not really, huh? That Murray Hill Club. I keep hearing that's a really good one. That's a that should be one to buy. You got two XO. Got the American Oak and the Tribute Blend. Yeah. Some Noah's meal. Okay. Uh, never seen this Jimmy Red before. It looks like a ceramic bottle. Anybody seen that before? A ceramic bottle, tenth anniversary, single form release. Wow. Yeah. You're gonna pay for it. Got the four roses. Mictors. I keep saying I'm gonna get this. I right, got that Maker's Mark. That stuff from north of the border. Seems to have its own section. Got a big handle of the Knob Creek Nine. Dragonfly, a uh, dry fly, I'm sorry. The High West. Barrel and the Garrison Brothers. Just bought my son a honeydew. Oh, cowboy bourbon. At 249. Some Oak and Eden. Really don't hear too much good about the Oak and Eden. I had the old soul 10 types. I think this is the 10 type 2. This is a Mississippi product uh, for 163. So if you're looking for that one, it is there. Woodford got that double oat. There's the Lost Monarch from the Redwood Empire. The Wild Turkey. Elijah Craig. Jim Bean. Tennessee Whiskey. No Ancient Ancient Age. Alright. That Crittenden's cut above. Not a bad price on that. The Deadling. This is the first time I've actually seen Deadling on the shelf. I've heard people talk about it, but never seen it. Nashville Barrel. Southern Collective. I think these may be store picks here. Been in, in Oxford, Mississippi at Ole Miss. They talk about hotty toddy. So I think this might be theirs. Got a barrel private release. Oh, we have a Willet purple top. Ten year. Yeah. 
That is definitely, definitely, definitely out of my price range. See so yeah, again, this is ten years. Yeah. Leave the bottle. This is bottle 94 of 95. Okay. I see those don't get a lot of yields out of a barrel. As we're uh, castring. Uh, um, wilderness Trail. They usually have a good one, especially the Family Reserve castring. This is Jimmy Red. A lot of Nulu, the Traverse City, make it straight. These look like store picks here. Lux Road, Clyde Maze, the Yellowstone, those are store picks. Another Detling. Okay. Uh, some more Yellowstone tour stuff. All right, this one's at 119 proof. Now, according to Bourbon Hunter, once it gets up there, those are really supposed to be the best ones. And there's uh, Bourbon Hunter's favorite, Penelope. <coughs> you got the K. Luke. This batch seven, six, and four. Uh, <coughs> Green River weeded, that is really good. And I wish they had the rickhouse proof of that being Holiday. Middle West, which is becoming real popular, and another Deadly. Debt this one is Castrain. This is coming in at. I don't know, is that. It's supposed to be 124 proof. All right, go down to the bottom shelf here. A lot of dickel. Got a blue note. Nashville barrel again. All right, let's see what they got. As far as some of the scotch and other whiskeys. I am not an expert. Now, I've had the Glimmering, uh, Morangi, uh, Morangi, uh, 10 year. Never had the 12. I uh, Ardbeck. Uh, Lagavulin, 16 and 11. I think my first scotch ever was a Glen Levitt 12. I think somebody may have made an offer on it from what I heard. It was just so good. It was honestly not good. It was always good location, but it's just hard to find. It really is fantastic. All right, got Balvini. Jameson, it's the Irish whiskey here. Alright, let's go over here real quick. I'm going to show you the store picks at the Ezra Brook Cast Strength again. And the Yellowstone. And this one is the 119 proof. I may end up getting that one now. Uh, Hunter, if I get this and it's not good, it is all your fault. Nashville Barrel. We got the store pick of that, which is 96.99. Let's see. That's uh, coming at 116 proof. Okay, I just <laughs> saw this one. Meat Sweats, Nashville. It is 112 proof. And this one is Rye Knot. 
cool name. And that one is 117.6 proof. Okay. All right, they got some tequila picks. Well, rum picks here. Like tequila and rum. So rum picks. More of that Jimmy Red. And they have a lot, a lot of Nulu. You guys probably would love some of these tater stickers. No one, not one on there. Tighter sticker. And this one is the straight. This one comes in at uh, 120.7 proof. And they have some good tighter stickers. And I know most of us grew up chewing big red gum. That is awesome. This one is a rye, I believe. No, it's not. No, my fault. You said handles? Yeah. Lots of wine. The straight. Finding Nulu. Man, these are awesome. Yeah, I can see people buying these just for the sticker. The sun doesn't say wine cocktail, it just says Ron and more Detling. I'm not that familiar with Detling. Okay. So I don't know if I'm missing out on something with Detling. I've heard of it, but I've never seen anybody really talk about it. You got the, I think this is the bottled and bun, cast drink. This one is called Christmas Morning. The Clyde Mays okay. five year Wine single barrel. There's an old elk. Whistle pig. tell you they have some good tater stickers man they have some good stickers wow they even have okay southern collective the vodka And the barrel pick. All right. Oh my gosh. And Remus. Okay. That one's coming in at 114.2. They have three cord. Okay. When I tell you they have a lot of barrel picks, they have a lot of barrel picks. Traverse City. Starbro, Savignon Blanc, one case. And Peerless. They don't have that much Peerless left. Here. Wonder Spirits, that's a gin. Word in this trail rye. There's their sticker. 
the other wilderness trail. I guess that one came in near Christmas. And in store, the Maddie Gladden. I think I've heard of this. This one's sitting at 98 proof. I think I have William Dalton, Lisa and Claire. Fontera. 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 B-O-N-T-E-R. Fontera. Let's see. Tequila. Yeah. And their own pick of rum. This is a Sazerac rum. Guys, I have shown you a lot. It is a lot here at this store. I mean, they have a lot of store picks. Makes it hard to make a choice. But great store. Great employees. Real nice. All right, if you're ever this way in Oxford, Mississippi, near Ole Miss, uh, for just visiting or for a game, Make sure you stop by High Cotton. You won't be disappointed.